Well guys, in moto cookie fashion, I have changed my mind once again. Stay tuned and I'll tell you some more. But anyway, as I, you know, I started the video, I've changed my mind once again. If you watched my last video, I, I was talking, you know, I've kind of got my mind set on, on three bikes. You know, I was looking at a, a 701 Supermoto, you know, as hard as they are to find. I, I have found some. I was looking at a GSX S1000, which is the naked GSXR 1000. And then I was looking at a GSXR 750. Well, you know, like I said, in moto cookie fashion, I always constantly change my damn mind. I'm kind of thinking about a different bike right now. Like, I've kind of had, I've got, put it this way, I've got my mind made up on a naked bike, okay? Like, 100% without a doubt, like, I think my next bike is going to be a naked bike. Like, I just want to go back to street riding. I, I plan on probably buying just a cheap ass dirt bike so I can trail ride and stuff. But I want a, a, sh a more street-oriented motorcycle. I, I I love this bike, but it's just, it's not what I want anymore. Um, I have a lot of fun on it, but I just, I want to be able to go, you know, especially out here in Wyoming, with all the open roads, I want to be able to go somewhere, you know, I want to go on a distance ride. So I still have, you know, in my idea of choices, the GSX S1000, it's a 2016, uh, it's the matte gray color. I'll throw up a picture to show you the, the color scheme I'm talking about. I love that color scheme. It's a non-ABS model. It's a leftover. It's like $1,100, $1,200 off. That's, you know, I, I'm a Suzuki guy, so that one's always kind of in my mind. But I'm a little hesitant because it's 454, 464 pounds, somewhere around that range. And I just don't want to go back to a heavy bike. So the other one I've been thinking about, and it, it's been in my head a lot, like when this bike first was getting debuted, I wanted it. I, I loved it because it was so unique. I know there's a lot of people riding them, but there's a reason why a lot of people are riding them. And I've been looking at a new 2018 MT-09. Like I just, looking at the specs, I've always been interested in that bike. I think that three cylinder is like one of the most unique engines out there. The bike weighs 425, totally wet running, and you know the stock exhaust, I looked at an aftermarket exhaust, it said it drops about 10 pounds. That big fender bracket on the back, um, that's like four or five pounds. So I think I could get the weight down around, you know, 410. I'd probably get it down to 410 pretty easy, and I would be pretty happy with that. I mean, 100 pounds more than this bike, I'd be pretty happy with that. My only real concern with the MT-09 is just, is it gonna satisfy me in the corners? And I know the suspension tends to be the weak link, but on the new 17s and 18s, the suspension was supposed to be revised. It's supposed to be better. But I, I just want a bike that I can I can jump on and I can ride up to Devil's Tower and back, you know, and, and have a, a more spirited ride where this thing is just, I don't care to do it because the corners up there are just too open for this bike and it's only like you know 70 miles or something up there and then another 70 miles back but it's just for me that's a lot on this bike and then you got to worry about getting fucking gas because this thing only gets about 100 and i want to say 150 miles on a tank depends on how you're riding it like I average about 60 miles to the gallon but so I'm torn between those two bikes right now because like I know the GSX S1000 I'll like it because it's it's familiar to me you know it's a Suzuki it's it's got a typical GSX R1000 engine in it you know tuned a little differently but my concern with that bike is just weight and at the end of the day you're still not going to be able to shed off enough weight to get it to where I want it to be and I'm not really looking for that much power. Like, I think the FZ09, MT09, whatever you want to call it, it's called the MT09 finally now in the US as well. So it's the same name in every country. Um, I just think that that would be more suited for like the type of riding I want to do. And like I said, my thought was that I'm just, you know, my girlfriend's talked about wanting to get a bike and she's talking about maybe wanting to start out on a dirt bike. And 
I think I'd just rather buy a really cheap ass dirt bike and just go beat it around in the woods and stuff. As much as I do love this bike, it's like, it just doesn't suffice me as a my only bike, you know. If if it was a second bike, that's fine. And you're like, well, why don't you just buy the MT-09 and keep the FZ or the DRZ? I don't want two bikes. Like, and now that, <laughs> that sounds stupid because I just said I'm probably gonna buy a dirt bike, but I just I don't want two insurance payments. I don't want to have to have bike two bikes with you know put license plates on and all that stuff. You know, a dirt bike. I've looked at some you know older used like two strokes like two grand 2500 bucks and I don't have to worry about insurance I don't have to worry about license plates I don't have to mess with all that so that's kind of my thought right now the next video I probably put out I'm probably gonna have my mind changed again I don't know you know I'm just I'm throwing it out there I like I don't know if I'm gonna like said I think the last video I'm not gonna I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna even do it this year so it's just kind of all up in the, the air you know but that that is my thought like I want a naked bike like as much as I want a GSXR 750 I'm looking and like the MT-09 puts out on the dyno puts out about 20 ish horsepower or less but it puts out five more foot pounds of torque and it in the MT-09 like looking at the dyno it puts out like 50, 55 foot pounds of torque at 2000 RPMs. It just builds power instantly. And I just, I like that. You know, I, I like that down low grunt, especially like over on tight twisty roads, but then it's still got that inline engine. You know, it kind of acts like an inline four where you can cruise on the highway really well. So like I said, that's, that's kind of my thought right now. It might change again next week. I don't know. But ever since the FZ09 first debuted, I always wanted one. You know, I just I just love the the that engine. I mean, you, it, it it has a unique sound, it has a unique character. It has power where you want it. it has power all the time. So, that's just my thought, guys. I I figured I'd let you let you know what's on my mind. So it constantly changes. I'm not trying to like copy everybody else because there is a lot of moto vloggers on MT09s and FZ09s, but it's a common bike and it took the market by storm and there's a reason why it did because it is a really good bike. It has its few flaws. Like every manufacturer bike, you know, there's a bike that has some kind of flaw. You know, this bike has its flaws. Every bike has its flaws. No bike out there is 100% perfect, but I just really dig the bike. So that's kind of my thought. Just figure I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking my videos, posting comments. You know, I, I try to reply to every comment that you post. Um, whether it be good or bad but everything's been good so far so i really appreciate the support i'm gonna keep throwing up videos i think i'm like about the only person out here in wyoming doing videos so i figured i'm gonna keep doing it but thanks for watching everybody